The Pew Research Center estimates there are 3.5 million Muslims living in the United States, a number that will grow as they become the second largest religious group in the country by 2040. As we commemorate International Women's Day on Thursday, for one television reporter in America's heartland, these are just statistics in the background of our daily task to meet deadlines as she charts a new and historic path forward representing her faith. VOA's Ken Faraba reports. Stand by. Stand by. It's 6 o'clock p.m. in the Quad Cities of Illinois and Iowa. Local for you. And as a local audience tunes in for the latest weather and news on WHBF-TV, there's a new face in front of the camera. A normal voter turnout for a primary election is about 22%. I love the way that you can craft a story with TV news. Um, you get to do it in the words of the people themselves. This is Tahera Rockman's first on-camera job, and her appearance is uniquely identifiable. It seemed normal to me because I was just following in the footsteps of my mom. Those footsteps brought her to the WHBF TV newsroom, where Rockman now stands alone as the first full-time broadcast television news reporter in the United States to wear the hijab. I think I've made more of a conscious effort as I've grown older to connect more to my heritage. I have a lot of family members who don't wear a headscarf. My mom wears one and a couple of my aunts also do. We're taught in Islam that it's, it's a choice. Rachman's parents are from India and Pakistan. She was born outside Chicago. But the job at WHBF isn't about that heritage or faith. Her boss says it's about her talent. Tahera deserved this. News director Mike Mickle never once considered asking Rockman to remove her hijab. We realize that she is the first, but if she had been the 30th or the 300th or the 3,000th, it wouldn't have made a difference. We did it because she's Tahera and she has earned this opportunity. Rockman's debut is a surprise to the small but growing local Muslim population. It shocks me actually. Mohammed El Zain attends one of two area mosques and views Rockman's opportunity as a critical moment for all Muslim Americans. It's empowering to our kids to see anybody with a veil anywhere because our kids struggle going to high school. So imagine this young lady being in front of a public audience. Being in front of that audience isn't always easy. Actually, just the past couple of days I've gone two or three emails just about how my religion is the religion of the devil and I should reconsider. Mike Mickle stresses the positive comments outweigh the negative and adds the only real pressure at the moment is dealing with the overwhelming media interest. It's allowing Tahera to share her journey with others, which we really want her to do. But at the same time, she has a deadline and she's expected to meet it. I do think that this is a huge moment. But at the same time, day in and day out, nothing has changed. Just because you got to where you want to go doesn't mean you work any less. This is Tahira calling from Local 4 News. How are you? Rockman hopes her hard work pays off, not just to move up the television news career ladder, but so those who follow in her footsteps will have similar opportunities in offices across the country. In the newsroom, Tahira Rahman, Local 4 News. King Fairbaugh, VOA News, Rock Island, Illinois.